You've completed the shell of the building. So the next step for you in this project is to add the doors and entrances to the first and second floors. As always, you need first need to set up the correct layer visibilities and options. In the navigation palette, set all design layers to invisible, except design layers Floor 1 and Scan 1. Set Floor 1 as the active design layer, and also choose Show Snap Others from the Layer Options drop-down menu, if this option is not already selected. You should already be in top plan view, but if you are not, simply press the zero on your number pad to return to the top plan view. To center the building in your drawing area, you can press the Fit to Objects button in the view bar. Now you're ready to start inserting some doors. To begin, select the Door tool from the Building Shell toolset and click the Preferences button in the toolbar. In the General tab, set the Width field to 3 feet and the Height field to 7 feet. In the Jam tab, set the Width field to 3 quarters of an inch and check the option Use Wall Depth. In the Leaf tab, choose Solid from the Leaf drop-down menu, then click OK to return to the drawing. Zoom to the left portion of the building so that you can see the angled wall that meets the round wall in the top left. Using the opening shown in the PDF from Scan 1 as reference, click once on the existing angled wall from Floor 1 near the center of the leftmost door opening in Scan 1. Now, move your cursor above the wall and to the right so that the door leaf sits to the top left above the wall. Once the door has the correct orientation, click again to insert the door in the wall. Let's do this again with the opening shown to the right of the door you've just inserted. With the door tool still active, click at the center of the opening and position the door leaf to the top right. Then, click once more to insert the door. Notice the second door was placed with the exact same door settings as the first door. Any new doors placed in this file will also have these parameters until you go back to the door settings and change them. There are several more doors using the exact same settings as the first two. Insert your doors at the same locations as shown in this video. Don't forget to set up your doors flip correctly before inserting them. Here's what you should have when you're done. Now, you'll need to change the door settings to place a different type of door in this wall. The door tool should still be active, so click the Preferences button in the toolbar, and in the General tab, set the Width field to 6 feet. Also, change the Configuration drop-down menu to Swing by Part, then click OK to return to the drawing, and place the door at the current opening shown in Scan 1. Also, make sure the door is flipped so the swings are inside the room. After placing this door, you'll again need to access the Door Tool Preferences from the toolbar so that you can modify the parameters once more to place a third type of door on the first floor. This time, when the dialog box appears, in the General tab, change the Width field to 5 feet and the Configuration drop-down menu to Slider. Additionally, set the Open Angle field in the 3D Visualization tab to 45 and click OK to return to the drawing area. With the Zoom tool or the scroll wheel on your mouse, zoom to the room to the left of the stairs in the bottom left portion of the building. Next, with the Door tool, click at the midpoint of this wall and set the flip so that the slider is opening at the bottom. Now place another door in these walls with the same orientation. Don't forget to snap to the wall's midpoint before inserting the door. Now all of the doors for the first floor are complete. Before you can begin inserting the second floor doors, you'll need to set design layers Floor 1 and Scan 1 to invisible, and design layers Floor 2 and Scan 2 to visible. 
Additionally, make Floor 2 the active layer. As you would expect, the same type of doors from the first floor will also be used on the second floor. So instead of resetting the parameters in the door settings, we can use the Create Similar Objects command to place a door with the same exact settings as the doors already in your file. To do this, let's temporarily make Floor 1 the active layer again. Then, right-click on the door found in the bottom right corner of the building and select Create Similar Object. Notice the door tool is still active, but the door preview has changed to that of the door you just clicked. Now you can make Floor 2 the active design layer again and begin inserting the doors at the same locations as shown. Again, don't forget to use the opening shown in Scan 2 as a reference. Also, remember that the flip for the doors in your file should match that of the doors shown here. Here's what you should have when you're done. That's it for the doors. You can now render in OpenGL and take a look at your progress with the flyover tool. Then return to a top plan view when you're ready to move forward.